think it's really important to look at connectivity when you look at marine protected areas because there's a history almost 100 years long of marine protected areas in the three countries. And what we've found over the years is that they work much better if you connect them so that the species, the larvae, the baby fish can move from one place to another and they can pass through different stages of their life in areas that are protected. And we know that we need to look at a continental scale so we can see that there are coral fish that are spawned in Mexico and get transported around the loop current into parts of the USA. And the same thing happens on the Atlantic and Pacific coasts. The aquariums are just a tremendous resource for reaching out to people. They understand what people are interested in. They help people understand the role of the oceans in sustaining life. And so by partnering with the aquariums, we have this amazing opportunity to reach millions of people that you know, government agencies just don't know how to reach on their own. NOAA has a lot of science. We have a tremendous amount of understanding of the marine environment. And we want to convey that and use it to make good decisions about the ocean. And one of the best ways to do that is to partner with groups who really know how to speak the language of the people. Uh, often scientists aren't very good at explaining the bottom line in ways that people can understand. And aquariums can really help us make the science real to people and help us translate how that uh, is important to management decisions. The Coastal Ecosystem Learning Network is a network of aquariums across the three countries of the U.S., Canada, and Mexico. And it's an ideal partner for the North American MPA network because we also extend across the three countries. So there's a real opportunity to, to look at the common messages that the two groups have across those three countries. We're really excited about this project. Basically, we are putting together some short videos that are going to be shown at aquariums across the three countries at the kiosks where visitors are going to come through and have a chance to watch a short little message about the marine environment. And so what we want to do is make sure that they leave with a better understanding of why marine protected areas are such great tools for conserving the ocean.